Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. Precise measuring of voltage is very important for many projects. If you work with an Arduino, you can use one of the built-in analog to digital converters, also called ADCs. This is very handy and in many cases a simple and cheap solution. The resolution of these ADCs is 10 bit. The biggest number you can use with 10 bits is 1023. If your ADC has a maximum voltage of 5 volt, 1 bit is therefore 5 divided by 1023 equals 4.9 millivolt. So the smallest difference you can measure is 4.9 millivolt. If you want to measure the voltage of a battery, for example, this is a very good sensitivity. And if you use the method described in an earlier video, you can get this resolution independent of the supply voltage. You find the link to the video in the comments below. But there are occasions where this method is not sufficient. For example, if you want to measure current using a hole sensor. Hall sensors create a voltage which is proportional to the current flowing through them. They can measure current in both directions. This is why 0 ampere is equivalent to 2.5 volt. If you use a sensor with a maximum current of 5 ampere, you can easily calculate the voltages. The data sheet shows a sensitivity of 185 millivolts per ampere. If you can distinguish 4.9 millivolt, the smallest current you can measure with the built-in 10-bit ADC is 4.9 divided by 185 equals 26 milliampere. So your readings are 26 milliampere, 52 milliampere, 78 milliampere and so on. No values in between are possible. This is not very precise and for many applications not sufficient. Fortunately, a simple solution exists. You buy a more precise ADC. For my purposes, I bought an ADS1115. It has a resolution of 16 bits. So the biggest number you can use is 65,536. The ADS1115 has several modes of operation with different accuracies. I use mode 2, which is comparable to the Arduino ADC. It has a minimal voltage of 0.125 mV. If we do the same calculation as before, we get 0.125 divided by 185 equals 0.67 mA as sensitivity. So with this device we can measure down to less than 1 mA, which is much better and in many cases sufficient. The usage of this device is very simple because you can buy a module and a library exist. You find the link to the source of the module and the library in the comments below. But let's now check if our theory was right. I use a 5 ampere hole sensor and measure its output voltage with the ADS1115 and in parallel with a built-in Arduino ADC. I use an Arduino Leonardo because I want to log the readings in Excel. As I showed in a previous video, the keyboard print function is very useful for this purpose. The Leonardo board can enter the numbers directly into an Excel sheet. You find the link to this video also in the comments below. One important remark if you want to use the keyboard print function for your projects. If you start the Arduino, it immediately starts to output characters and they are entered into your computer wherever your cursor is. 
If you do not take precautions, it is hard to stop the board. Because if you want to upload another program, it destroys this program before you even can start the compilation or the upload. Not an easy situation. The trick is to use a button to start and stop the keyboard entry. Only with this precaution, the whole thing works. If you include an if condition before the keyboard print commands, you can read a button to change the status of this parameter. Like that, you can put the cursor into your Excel window and press the button. The Leonardo starts to key in the numbers. And if you finished, you press the button again and the Arduino stops keying numbers. After that, you can use your computer yourself. Usually, I use LED13 as an indicator when the keyboard print function is on. But coming back to the reality check. I used my bench power supply and increased the current from 0 to 1 ampere. Here is the resulting diagram. You see that the ADS1115 line is very fine and the Arduino ADC line is quite coarse exactly as expected. I will use this ADC for one of my next videos, where I try to measure wind speed with different methods. One method is to use a pitot tube. The sensor of this tube also provides a very weak signal. I hope my new ADC can measure these signals with the necessary precision. If you subscribe my channel, you will be informed when the video is ready. I hope this video was useful or interesting for you. Bye!